Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Missed the goal. Yeah. 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 I think that's a that's a huge part, man, for anybody, any normal human being in any situation in the workplace, and somebody that uh, a lot of teammates and people that want you here is uh, very important um, to me. I I value that a lot. Just uh, being in this league a long time and being somewhere that people want you and they embrace you and um, that meant a lot to me. So. Yeah. Yeah. How would you evaluate maybe where that fit didn't work and why you think this one will? Um, I think just the the way the team is built, um, how they play. Um, I think for me it's just finding my way to be able to help other guys is something I truly embrace and you know that's what I would do. Make sure I can make the game easy for all these guys that are here. <clears throat> Find out their spots, what they like, what they don't like, um, and that's going to be a process for me. But. Um, I'm ready for the challenge and looking forward to it. Um, just curious, what have the dialogue and the conversation been like the last few days um, leading up to your decision to, to join this team? Uh, I mean, very good, honestly. Uh, just a lot of uh, figuring out what's best for the team, honestly. Uh, the dialogue is just about winning, regardless of kind of what's said in between that. It doesn't really matter. I think the most important part is uh, the ultimate goal is to win a championship. And, you know, we know we have to do, do that. See you. Nice smile on your face when I like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm super excited, man. I'm, I'm just excited to to get back to playing. Uh, I love to play basketball, not just that, but love to have fun uh, while doing it. Um, and I get to stay home, uh, see the wife and the kids, and take them to school in the morning. That's a big part of my day, and um, you know, nothing more important than that. And I'm happy to be here. So, uh, good to see you thanks, bro. Yeah. Um, just man, uh, <clears throat> one just being from LA, um, and then second man, Paul is just a great person overall. Besides the basketball stuff, and uh, you know our kids are very close, our families are close, and our parents, and that alone is you know creates a, a great bond, a, a brotherhood, and. You know, since then, me and Paul's been close communicating. He's always been very supportive of me and trying to help me any way I can. And, um, you know, I'm thankful uh, to be playing with him again. So looking forward to it. Uh, uh, Joey Lynn, Sports Illustrated. With everything you've accomplished in your career, you have a loyal fan base yourself. Like, obviously, yeah. you have fans who have supported you everywhere you've been. <clears throat> but you also have a fan base um, that, that followed you. I just want to ask what that means. Um, with all that's been down. Uh, just that consistent support. Yeah, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's a blessing, man. You... Um, you know, at least with me, I've been in different places and so many different ups and downs in my career, um, places I've been, and to have people that support you or across the world and here is, I'm truly grateful and thankful for, for those people. And, um, you know, I just try my best to go out and compete and, 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 and be loyal to them as, as they're loyal to me. So One of the first things, uh, when people talk about you, the first thing other players say is you know, how great of a guy you are, how great of a teammate you are. From PG to Robert Covington, Buddy Heald didn't even play with you, but yeah. he respects you so much as a person. What does that mean to you to kind of have that from other people where that's part of your legacy of how good of a person you are? Uh, to me, that's the most important part. Um, one thing that I, I learned a long time ago is, uh, you know, what we do, uh, basketball, is like a short time of our lives. If you're lucky and blessed enough to play, you know, 10 to 15 years, you know, you, you'd be grateful for that. But along the way, along the journey, you meet people um, and you want to be able to impact people you come across. And that's something I value as a as uh, my duty. I believe God put me in this position to be able to impact people and inspire people along my journey. And each place that I go and people I come across, I try to make sure I do that um, and be authentic and make sure that I'm there for them, whatever they need and be the best, not teammate, just the best person in them, the, the best way I know how to. Do you think your availability, because you've been a pretty healthy guy throughout your career. Yeah. Uh, T. Lou and Lawrence talked about your work ethic coming three hours before games to get your workout in. Do you think your availability kind of gets overlooked when people talk about you and your career and stuff, like your ability to play yeah. pretty much every night? 
Uh, you know, maybe, probably so. But I think, um, like, I, I don't take this game for granted. It's, it's something that I value, something that I cherish. If I'm healthy and, and able to play, um, I go out and play always. Um, when I was younger, some people um, told me, uh, one, of, one of my OGs told me, uh, you never know who's watching. Like, I always value, like, the one kid that drove a thousand miles to come see me play this random night. Uh, that and if I don't play, you know, I feel like I'm letting that one fan down, and I always have that in my mind. Like if I'm able to play and able to, obviously not, you know, hurt anything. But if I'm able to fight through some some stuff and go out and compete, not just for the fans but for my teammates and organization, I always do so. So I always keep that in my mind and uh, finding ways to be able to go out and play. What do you think the Clippers do well right now, and, and where <clears> they need to be better, in, especially in terms of how you get up and do that? Um, I think um, it's, you know. You know, we do so many great things here well, and I think the, the most important part for me is just coming in, uh, keeping the pace high, um, using my speed and ability to better get in the paint and get those guys easy shots. I think where I can help out a lot and um, everything else, man, I'll, I'll fit right in and continue got, uh, doing what they have going on right now and uh, everything else will uh, play out itself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's been great, um, you know, me and Kawhi from L.A., but it's always been a mutual respect, love, um, you know, and obviously we've been competing against each other for some years, but I'm super excited just to, uh, not just to be here, but pick his brain, um, you know, find ways to make the game easy for him, and I'm looking forward to that. When you look at um, Ty, uh, yeah. when you guys play the Lakers last night, Drew Brace had a nice log on the sideline. Um, what's your relationship like with, with Ty? That was great, man, me and Ty. Uh, just been friends before, uh, you know, any of this. And to me, that's one thing I value is friendships. And when you're able to create that in this league and somebody that been around the league, that understands the league, that also played in it, um, you value and you understand and, and kind of look towards him for any advice you can. And he's always been somebody that um, I can do that too, even though he's we've never been on the same team, on the same organization. So uh, happy now to be a part of uh, what's going on here. And I'm looking forward to, you know, playing for him. I think from top to bottom, he has this kind of a uh... Coaching philosophy where he doesn't want players walking on eggshells. He wants them to be themselves. Yeah. I'll play through the and all stuff as long as you're playing the right way. How much, I guess, was that a, a part of what you wanted to, you know, come here and just be yourself? Um, I think the 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 most important part is man is coming here and trying to make sure that I can do what I can to help the team win games. Um, and the ultimate goal is to win a championship. And to me, whatever is asked of me, whatever they need me to do, um, I'll do it and do it to the best of my ability. And um, you know. Hopefully. Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top. Woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys. Never stop. Woo, woo. Mr. Go and split the pie. Never stop.